हेलो स्टूडेंट्स वेलकम टू माय चैनल इंजीनियर्स एकेडमी काइंडली सब्सक्राइब माय चैनल फॉर द सॉल्यूशन ऑफ इंजीनियरिंग स्टैटिक्स एंड इंजीनियरिंग डायनामिक्स प्रॉब्लम नाउ आई एम गोइंग टू सॉल्व दिस पर्टिकुलर प्रॉब्लम इन दिस प्रॉब्लम इट इज सेड दैट द स्मॉल वॉशर इज स्लाइडिंग डाउन द कॉर्ड ओ ई व्हेन इट इज एट द मिड पॉइंट इट्स स्पीड इज 28 मीटर पर सेकंड एंड इट्स एक्सेलरेशन इज 7 मीटर पर सेकंड स्क्वायर and further it is said that express the velocity and acceleration of the washer at this particular point in terms of its cylindrical components are in terms of the cylindrical coordinates right so as we know that the cylindrical coordinates are r theta and z right so first i have to define my cylindrical coordinates right so my cylindrical coordinates this will be my radial uh, direction right let's say this is my ur unit vector direction similarly if i consider this is my theta direction right i am considering this x axis as the as the reference axis is right so this is my theta right so then we can define our u theta that is the unit vector along theta direction that is for the cylindrical coordinates we can say that this will be my u theta unit vector right and that will be perpendicular to this ur and then i can define my z coordinate system that uh, in the cylindrical coordinate system the third coordinate is the third axis is the z coordinate system right so we will consider this particular z uh, z axis is right and this z axis is, is perpendicular to this ur and this u theta right so now i can place uh, this u theta axis is here as well like this right so this is my u theta unit vector so in the problem it is said that express the velocity and acceleration in terms of the cylindrical component right so we have to resolve the velocity and acceleration along these three axes that is along u r u theta and along the u z let me write that this is the u z direction right so now at the midpoint the velocity is 28 meter per second right so now if i say that uh, this o a arm is let's say making some angle alpha with this u r unit vector right this is our radial direction and this is the u r the unit vector along the r axis is right so now we can find this alpha uh, we can find this phi angle right so if i apply tan phi so we can consider this triangle right let me define a triangle we can say that we can consider let's say this is o e and let's say this is point b so we can consider this triangle this tangent triangle which is o e b so from this o e b triangle we can say that tan phi is equal to this height which is 6 divided by this o b right and we can find this o b length by applying the pythagoras theorem to this triangle this triangle at the base let's say this is b dash so if we consider o b dash b triangle so we can find the hypotenuse o b by applying the pythagoras theorem so we can say that o b length will be equal to o this will be o b square according to pythagoras theorem will be equal to o b dash square plus o b b dash right this is b b dash square right so then we can say that this o b length will be equal to o b dash so this o b dash is 2 meters so i will take square of 2 meters plus b b dash so b b dash length is 3 meters so this is b square and then we have to take the square root so this is that o b dash length right so this from this triangle we can say that tan phi is 6 divided by o b and o b is 2 square plus 3 square and then we can take the square root so this will give us the phi angle right so if i take 10 inverse so 10 inverse 
6 divided by square root uh, 2 square plus 3 square. So, the angle is 58.99 uh, we can say that it is approximately 59 degrees right. So, this is approximately 59 degree angle right. So, now we want to find the component of the velocity along the r axis is this is our r axis is right and here we have that remember that here we have that theta axis is right like this. So, now if I resolve this velocity vector if I draw the velocity vector here this will be our velocity vector somewhere here and its magnitude is 28. So, if we resolve it so one of the component one of its component will be acting in this direction like this and that is acting in the negative r direction and this one will be the cos component of this velocity right. So, I can say that v r magnitude this will be the v r component that is the component of the velocity in the along the r axis is right. So, this is v r and its magnitude will be equal to v cos of pi right since the angle is made with this particular component right. So, v is 28 cos of pi we know pi this is 59 degrees and as we can see it is that it is directed in the negative this is our positive r direction and it is acting in the negative direction. So, we have to write minus right. So, this is minus 28 cos of 59 degrees. So, this gives us minus 14.42. So, minus 14.42 and this is v r right and this will be in meter per second remember. And similarly uh, this uh, velocity vector will have one component which will be directing in the negative z direction if I represent that. So, we will have one component of this v which will be acting in this direction like this right. If I place it here so this one will be the sine component right. So, we can say that v z component will be equal to minus v sin of phi and again the last magnitude is 28 and sin of phi angle is 59 degrees. So, we can say that this is this gives us minus 24 right. So, this is minus 24 meter per second and now as we can see that uh, this O A arm is not rotating about the z axis is the angle of this O A arm uh, with the x axis is with the y axis and with the z axis is remains constant right. So, this means that the washer is only moving in the radial direction and in the z direction it is not moving in along the theta direction which is perpendicular with both of these axes. So, we can say that the the v theta component of this v vector is 0 right. So, this is the third component of the velocity right. So, we can write that that velocity vector in the cylindrical coordinate system will be equal to v r v r u r plus uh, v theta u theta plus v z u z right. So, now we can write that v r is minus 14.42 u r v theta is 0 right this is 0 and v z is minus 24 u z. So, this is the velocity vector representation in terms of the cylindrical coordinates right. Now, we can find the acceleration using this similar formula right. So, the acceleration is 7 meter per second square. So, now I can say that we are uh, acceleration component in the radial direction will be equal to again now I will consider the acceleration vector right. So, now this is my acceleration vector and acceleration is 7 meter per second square. So, again A r will be the cos component this one will now be the radial component. So, A r will be again A cos of 
pi and again that ar will be acting in the negative radial direction so we have to write minus and again this is minus and the acceleration magnitude is 7 this is given so 7 cos of 59 degrees so minus 7 cos of 59 this gives me minus 3.605 or I can say that it is minus 3.61 so minus 3.61 uh, meter per second square this is the radial component magnitude similarly uh, we can say that a theta since the velocity in the theta direction is 0 so then the acceleration will also be 0 and similarly a z this one will be the a z component this one which is acting in the negative z, z direction and this is the sine component so i can write that this is minus 7 sine of 59 degrees so we can say that minus 7 sine of 59 degrees is minus 6 so this is minus 6 meter per second square and now i can write the acceleration vector right so this one will be my acceleration vector and this will be equal to a r u r unit vector plus a theta u theta plus a z u z so a r is minus 3.61 so minus 3.61 u r a theta is 0 and this one is minus 6 a z is minus 6 so minus 6 u z so this is the acceleration vector in terms of the cylindrical coordinates so this is the solution of this particular problem i hope you people would have understood the solution of this particular problem for more subscribe my channel and uh, do like this video if this helps in your learning